What is going on guys? My name is Matt and you may know that yesterday on the 18th of October it was Sidemen Book Day and I was hyped for this. I actually pre-ordered the book back in June so I was really excited to get an email saying it's arriving today and it came last night. I thought for this video I'd do a little review of the book and some of my favourite things about it and just, just give you a little rundown of what I think about it and if you're on the fence whether or not to get it I will give you my verdict on it. For starters it is a lot thicker than I thought it would be. It's, it's getting close to 300 pages I think. Think. Yeah, it's about 250. First of all, can I just say the hardback? It feels amazing. Something about hardback books just just so much cooler for me than paperback. It just Ah, feels so good. I'm liking the black and white color scheme on the front cover. The font and the background, that they're pretty cool colors as well. <laughs> I don't even know if that was a good joke, but we're rolling with it. One thing I would say right off the bat is that if you like the Sidemen and you enjoy watching their videos, this book is literally perfect for you. I'm not just making this video because I got the book and I'm trying to follow the hype train. I've literally read the whole thing. I skim read some bits, but I've read the content on every single page and it's great because this is the kind of book that you can go back to, literally pick a random page and just enjoy reading it for five or ten minutes. The majority of the time I was reading this book, I was actually sat on the toilet, so... Yeah. <laughs> There's a line on the back that really resonates with me and the book. It says, you'll feel like you're with them every step of the way. That That is so true. Like, literally, you are so engrossed in their lives when you read this book. So if you watch their videos every day like I do, then there'll just be so much YouTube and Sidemen going around in your head that it's impossible to not be hooked on this because I read it straight through in one sitting, pretty much. You know, excluding time going to and from the bathroom. That's... That's desperate times. Like I said, the artwork is really good. The photography like this is throughout uh, the graphics. They're, they're pretty awesome. They're, they're doing well so far. In case you couldn't tell, this is going to be a pretty positive review because I really love the Sidemen and I really love the book. So maybe I'll try and come up with some negatives at the end. I don't know. But in regards to when it says you feel like you're really there with them, that is so true because the book is literally a conversation between the Sidemen that you were kind of in on. It's like a private chat with each and every Sidemen member and it's really awesome. Literally the first page, the Sidemen are talking about how they're gonna make the book and how they assign themselves colours so you know who's speaking and when. And it's literally a conversation throughout the book and then each member gets their own little bits. You know, that sort of thing. They went all out as well. Like, literally... They, they've got meals in there and everything that like we got this one. We, it's, what's this? Simon's meal for Simon and Josh. We got we got all the meals that they like to eat. I like Toby's meal. Where is it? Where's Toby's meal? I want to share this one with you. Here we are. Toby's signature dish. Toby says, okay, I know I've cheated here, but to be honest, I don't have much time to cook and we all know you enjoy my signature dish more than the others. Ingredients, £12.45 cash. Method, one, leave the house. Two, get into your car. Three, drive to Nando's. Four, order medium veggie pita, also avocado, pineapple, and halloumi inside. A side of peri peri chips, mix up Fanta and Coke to drink. Step five, demolish. See, that's, that's just cool. The book starts off with kind of the origins of the Sidemen, how they all met, and bits about each member in their earlier life, which was really interesting for me because there are so many videos on YouTube, like, things you didn't know about the Sidemen, and it's just things that everyone actually does know. Like, it's things that pe they say in their videos a lot and that is broadcast everywhere. But this book has literal things you don't know about the Sidemen, and, th and that was very interesting to me. Who knows, maybe I'll make a list video of actual things you don't know about the Sidemen. But yeah, like I said, because I'm a YouTuber, I'm really interested in the YouTube side of things. So what they've done in the book for me that's really cool is is the timelines of their kind of YouTube career as they've grown together. It's just a little look. Uh, they've got like different dates and I find it really interesting to see a date, read about the date and, and see what happened on that date. Like t Timelines, anything like that, that really interests me. I'm not going to explain everything in the book because I don't want to spoil it and it, it truly is worth the money. Like... It if you like the Sidemen, like I said, you will like this book. I like this page, it's called The Sidemen Haircut Evolution. All of them have two, except for one, and I'm pretty sure you can guess who that is. They've got them at birth, and then they've got them now. Except for JJ. <laughs> You've got every single one there, even there where he lost the bet on Twitter, so he had to dye his hair blonde. I helped with that bet, I retweeted that tweet. Don't worry about it. Again, they've got more lists about YouTube. They've got all of their five landmark videos, which are like videos that stood out for them. That was a very interesting section to read for me. What do you think the cameraman told Harry to do during this picture? <laughs> I wonder what the instructions were. I just find myself smiling just like looking through this is really really cool Another part of the book that I quite enjoy is the YouTube inspiration guide because it's hard to come up with ideas They've given you a template to find out a video idea for you to do so let's do it together, right? So what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Mine is probably out of the ones on that list It's gonna have to be Domino's even though I work at McDonald's and that's on the list. We'll say Domino's what Premier League football team do you support? 
I support Arsenal, so we're gonna go with what those two options give me. Based on my favorite fast food restaurant and the football team I support, my video idea should be play a musical instrument while dressed as a loaf of bread. That is the kind of thing that will go viral, to be fair. Like, that pen pineapple apple pen thing, that's not far off. Maybe I'll do that. And I know I keep banging on about this, but again, because I like YouTube so much, all of the YouTube stuff really interests me. And this bit, the ultimate YouTube equipment guide, this, this is pretty cool as well. I find myself ticking off quite a few of the boxes on the starter equipment and then a couple on the professional equipment, which is which is pretty cool. They've also got YouTube do's and don'ts, which are really, really handy for me. Like, they're in-depth as well. Like, they're, they're quite long, as you can see, and, and, and that's really cool. There's Cybin School reports in here. There's obviously stuff about football and FIFA. There's, like, FIFA challenges and FIFA forfeits that they've, they've, they've done in here. There's literally a page called the Sidemen Random Trivia page. There's 17 facts on here that they have not revealed to any one until now so this would be a video that truly would be the things you don't know about the sidemen there is actually a page in here that i'm not going to tell you that i'm definitely going to make a video on i just need someone to be in the video with me because it's such a funny video idea and it'll be hilarious but you'll see that when it comes out there's funny stories in here gimmicks it's, it's just it's just a great time and and the colors are great it's just it's really awesome. Then at the end of the book, there's some memes because it's 2016 and they have to make it in there. And then there's a fan Q&A to finish it off. And it's all just awesome. But I've saved the best for last, which in my opinion is the best part of the book. Or at least it was the most interesting part of the book for me. And that is the day in the life of the Sidemen. Where is it? Aha, here we go. The description is, being in the Sidemen can be pretty full on. There's social media to check in on, videos to make and edit, meetings to attend, not to mention keeping track of where Toby is. But it's all cool. We do it because we love it and who else gets to play computer games with their mates for a job. The colours and the graphics on this timeline, in my opinion, are some of the best in the book. I really like them and it's really interesting because they don't all do the same thing at the same time. So when there's some people waking up, there's some people going to beg. For instance, Vic works a lot through the night, whereas the others work through the day, some of them. And when you start at the beginning of the timeline and you read it and you're trying to keep track of what everyone's doing, it's just really interesting because you're like, right, so Vic's currently playing Minecraft. JJ sleeping because apparently he went to the gym, which never happens. Harry showering for the 99th time, and it's all just very interesting. So that, for me, is probably my favourite part of the book, the day in the life of the Sidemen. All in all, it's hard to critique this book because it's not a story. It's like, it's, it's, it's non-fiction. All of it's just fact, and it's just made funny by the people who wrote it, and because I like the people who wrote it, I find it funny, so it's hard for me to find anything wrong with it. I think they got the balance between long text and pictures just right. Like, there wasn't a page I thought, oh my gosh, I'm dreading reading that, but there aren't just all pictures. If I had to pick one negative, it would be the way Amazon handled the book on delivery. I got it, and the corners kind of bent. What's that about? <laughs> in all honesty, I thought I'd just make this video because I got the book and I thought it would make a very entertaining and interesting video, and I've never done a real review video, so I thought, why not do it? I can't believe I even have to say this, but they're not paying me or or even- They don't even know me, okay? This is not a sponsored video or anything. I bought the book myself and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. For If you're maybe thinking of getting it and you're not sure, it's probably the book for you if you're thinking about getting it. This makes me want to go and watch all of their channels a lot more as well. Nice ploy, guys. If any of the site- Oh, almost knocked something over there. If any of the Sidemen do happen to be watching this video to this point, thank you for making videos and entertaining us all, and thank you for this lovely book. And as you mentioned in Ethan's log, it, it might also make a nice pillow. So, uh, I, I could do that. But that does it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, and why not send it to the Sidemen? I mentioned on Twitter that I'll be reacting to your Snapchats in a video. That'll go up later this week, so stay in tune for that. And yeah, if I can actually find a friend who will do it with me, I might be able to make the video that this book will assist me me in making. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you are new around here, and with that being said, I will see you very soon.